Hi guys, my name is Joy Eberendu. I am your presenter on What's Good in Africa this week. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Also, do not forget to turn on the bell notification icon. On tech, Francophone Africa is an narrator this week. We head to Cameroon as Ejara, a one-year-old crypto investment company, raises $2 million as part of their seed round. Francophone Africa is one of the most crypto-friendly markets in Africa, but only a few players are taking advantage of the market, which can make a case as the next frontier for mobile money and investment apps in Africa. This region of about 200 million people is untapped and full of potential, which is an opportunity for players who are willing to invest in Africa. We congratulate Nelly Charles Diop and her team on this great achievement. Still on tech, the value of e-commerce in Africa is expected to reach $29 billion next year. Clasher, a Lagos-based startup, sees an opportunity in cross-border commerce and provides multiple integrations and APIs to facilitate transactions between Africa and the rest of the world. This week, it raised 2.4 million in seed to scale. Founded by Jessica Anuna, in 2018, Clasha hopes that its plugins will help the facilitation of cross-border payments. On achievements this week, African doctors continue to make us proud. This week, we celebrate a major breakthrough in malaria prevention as African researchers and scientists develop an anti-malaria vaccine. After a research that took over 30 years, World Health Organization has finally acknowledged and endorsed this anti-malaria vaccine. Malaria is the leading cause of death and illnesses in children under the age of five in sub-Saharan Africa, claiming the lives of more than 260,000 children under the age of five annually, according to the World Health Organization. So this breakthrough by African scientists will definitely save a lot of lives. On fashion, our product of the week is from one of my favorite fashion brands known as Belle K Woman. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing one of their best sellers today on this episode. Belle K Woman is a ready to wear fashion brand for women of all sizes, shapes and colors, founded by a fabulous young African designer, Chineku Obienu. Belke aims to see its timeless and versatile wares on women across the globe. Located in Abuja, Nigeria, Belke Woman takes its award-winning fashion wares to the world via AfricExpress.com, the company that takes goods made in Africa to customers all over the world. This week, we wake up to the sunset in Tanzania, Jumbo. We head to the paradise of Zanzibar, the lost garden of Eden, a place to relax, enjoy, meditate, and spend quality time with your loved ones. It's Zanzibar to behold nature's beauty at its finest, savour the amazing scenery, the culture, the food, and easing of your stress all at a fraction of the cost of holiday elsewhere in the world. Whoever said Africa isn't beautiful was definitely a liar. Tanzania welcomes you, Jumbo. Thank you for watching this week's episode of What's Good in Africa This Week. I am your presenter, Joy Eberendu. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, do not forget to turn on the bell notification icon. Have a fantastic week.